Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, so, been had something on my mind lately about the way that people learn how to trade and wanted to talk to you about that for a second. And there's like two, cli two kinds of learning, right? There's explicitly described learning and then there's implicit learning, which you could probably refer to as learning by experience, right? And the, the world of trading education is based upon the premise, however absolutely ridiculous it is, that somehow I can transfer my knowledge of how to trade successfully in some kind of a one, two, three, four step-by-step -step program. And if you simply follow that program, that these you know steps lead to you know like a Rick and Morty portal of awesomeness and you transfer through that portal and then you pop out on the other side and your head is just basically a sack of money instead of your actual head and all you had to do was follow these steps and listen for 15 or 16 years I've been part of the trading education industrial complex and although I've tried to do a good a good job and I've tried to be responsible and whatever I mean I've fallen short at times in probably implicitly saying that you can just follow these steps and it'll be easy and then you'll be a millionaire or I've never said that, but you get my point. And th there's an inherent problem with this method and, and that is that there's probably no way that you can learn to successfully trade by just following a bunch of steps. I don't know who you are and a lot of you you know who you are. A lot of you take everything so damn literally that if I say, if I even just mention that I trade a certain particular financial instrument, it's like I brought tablets down from a mountain and you are never going to hear anything else that anybody tells you. You're just going to remember forever that I mentioned that one financial instrument. And it's, it's basic, we're not gonna get, forever after that, we're never gonna get anywhere because you take everything literally. Or if I say, oh, well, I use this one moving average as a filter, then forever after, there's gonna be this online discussion of, well, Rob uses this moving average as a filter, and, and I might just have used it one time. But everything is taken so damn literally. And the, and the reason is, is that we want, we want the world to be fixed. I mean, not like from a reproductive standpoint. <laughs> we, we want the world to be fixed and solid and interpretable, and we want a step-by-step -step plan. But I mean, you, look, take any take any billionaire you want: uh, Steve Jobs, Warren Buffett, Mark Cuban, Carl Icahn. None of this is step-by-step -step stuff. Mark Cuban built a broadcasting website so that they could broadcast sport events over the web. It, I don't even remember that it worked. Probably did. He's a pretty smart guy. And then he sold that for five point something billion dollars to Yahoo. And then he hedged all the Yahoo stock with options. And when the market crashed in 2001, he was perfectly fine. That's not a step-by-step -step program. No one had ever done anything like what he did before. But still the same. We want to read blog posts. And he's got a great one. Mark Cuban has this great one about how he became successful. And there's not one step-by-step -step plan in there because he knows as just as well as you and I know that that's just impossible. All success, all of it, all success that you end up having was learned implicitly. It wasn't learned explicitly. It was learned through experience, all of it. There wasn't one thing that we really do well that becomes a massive success that was ever learned by some crazy downloadable PDF and a step-by-step -step program. That's just absolute be garbage. It's just garbage. It's total garbage and it's a complete lie. So what you need as a trader is experience and you need failure. Thanos seemed to think that Failure was an experience, you know, when Loki goes, well, I call experience, you know, well, if you call failure experience, I just feel like Loki should have slapped Thanos on the face, you know, like, shut your mouth. Failure is experience. And a lot of traders are so afraid of failure, they don't get enough of it. Or we're so afraid of 
making mistakes that we don't make them and we don't learn from them. The other thing that we don't do as traders is we don't value our own experience. We, you have to have personal experience. But what we do as traders is we overvalue someone else's experience. So we go out there and we buy books like Market Wizards and every single one of those people in Market Wizards would never be able to tell you any kind of step-by-step -step plan for how they, how they were successful. Some of them don't even exist anymore. Or you read these books about, this is basically like blasphemy. Like, if, like there, there are people who would probably want to punch me in the mouth for saying this, but you read these books about the turtles, right? Richard Dennis's experiment to teach people how to trade. And there were these guys that went into the office and blah, he gave them a step-by-step -step program. There's like one of those people, I don't know, maybe there are more, but there are not very many people still even out there trading money. Those, those turtles, I mean, unless somebody wants to put it in the comments and dispute that. Um, that wasn't, that wasn't a long-term successful experiment, but you know why the turtle experiment is famous? Do you know why it's famous? Let me tell you why it's famous. Because it's a step-by-step -step program. Because it, it, it gave the impression that all you had to do were these steps. And the problem is that the steps get you only so far. So with successful trading, you, you learn steps, like you learn them, like install this, bot or follow these rules and then everything goes to hell in a handbasket and everything that you just did to follow those initial steps gets thrown in the garbage can. The economy fails and so the account blows up. Even John Henry who bought the Red Sox with his trend trading fortune went through long periods of drawdown where things were not working and people accused him of trading a system that no longer worked. So you, you can only get so far following rules or installing a system or following a strategy step by step. You have to focus most of your time on failure. And if you can create a robust or anti-fragile system, what failure will do for you is fa failure will actually propel you to further success. So today the market is dropping, the Dow opened down 400 points and there's probably some rumor of a trade war with China out there or whatever else. And so a lot of people are panicking and a lot of people who expected the bull market to last forever are now really, really concerned. But for other people who prepare for failure and who hedge against those types of situations, they've got their regular system and then they've got a hedge and then they've got the ability to think on their feet when something happens that they've never experienced before. And the only way that you can learn to think on your feet is going back to experience. So in the, there are a lot of changes coming through in my membership stuff. There's a lot of changes. and. You've probably noticed this already. We're taking down every page that has ever sold anything. For the, if you're watching this video on Monday, May 6, 2019, you could still buy lifetime membership today, but everything else is no longer for sale at all. Like everything, everything comes down tonight and we're not gonna sell anything for a while. And I'm changing the way that I teach things to partner with organizations and others who will teach through guided failure and experience. I think actually the most important thing that a trading guru could do for you is watch you fail and then comment on your failure as opposed to sell you a step-by-step -step system and then throw you to the wolves and say that it's your fault if things go wrong. It's not, it's not who cares whose fault it is when things go wrong. What you want to care about is what we're going to do about things when they go wrong. If you have a trading system and it's not mine, I don't care. Practice dealing with its failures. Focus all of your time on when the system isn't working. Focus all of your time on building a hedge or something that can function when things go wrong. So the, the, my friends that are in the lifetime membership or the path or the inner circle or all the different things that I've called it over the years, um, those folks, all we really do is we teach a step-by-step -step system for installing a robot and then all we do is focus on 
situations where things go wrong and the robot really isn't performing very well. That's all we focus on, like maybe a month on getting set up and then 12 to 14 to 30 months or more on dealing with failure and problems and obstacles and difficulty. Hey, it's Rob Booker, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more great content and you're on the Booker Wealth site, go to the bottom right of this page and just watch more videos. I got a ton of them. Or if you're on the YouTube channel, just hit that subscribe button and the bell and I'll let you know when I make new content. I love you all. Have the best day ever.